last year, well, I gave my heart to the Lord when I was 15. In, in fact, the Lord captured my heart when I was 15 years old. In a small little rural dorpy, da, and in the bottom of the drum. Bethlehem, and Judea. You know, and then the, I heard the, the Lord audibly say, I, I, I was ill. I had a stomach condition. And the Lord said to me, you, you've heard in Sunday school, you lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Take your hand and put it on your stomach. And I took my hand, put it on the stomach, and then he said, say, you healed in the name of Jesus. I said, I know healed in the name of Jesus. And that pain went. And so I met the Lord. And like you said, you feel alone because I was just this misfit, mm -hmm. you know. Anyway, to cut a long story short, the Lord led me through various places and sent me into government. So for a while I was in government and I couldn't understand what I was even doing in government in the first place. I was in the in the in the executive of the district making policy decisions going the whole of uh, KZN from the top of KZN down to the bottom training municipalities I don't know how I even got there and then one day the Lord said to me cancel all those contracts I opened that door and I'm now closing it so I said why he said because I want you to go and open house of prayer everything you learned there government authority everything you learned then you taught now it's time for it to be in the kingdom so i i wrestled with that a bit and the lord said i'll shut the door if you don't resign i'll shut the door <gasps> so i was still waiting comfortably for that my husband had a, a business and the lord said to my husband give the business away mm -hmm. my husband yeah i said this is my children's inheritance and the lord said no that's not your children's inheritance he told my husband, don't sell it, give it away. <coughs> Open the house of prayer. So we opened the house of prayer, praying every day. Cut a long story short, September. September, the Lord said, I want you to separate yourself first, and I want you to pray for Richard's Bay. In fact, it was August. I want you to pray for Richard's Bay, because I'm going to shut international trade at Richard's Bay. I've never even thought of bothered about Richard's Bay. And so we began to pray. Then the Lord said to me when we came back from Cape Town, if you don't go to Richard's Bay, I will discipline you. So that week, I said to the intercessors, we've got to go to Richard's Bay because the Lord says if we don't go, he's going to discipline us. When we went to Richard's Bay, he, before we went to Richard's Bay, he said, I want you to sit down and we need to draft the legal documents so that you can go to the throne, to the High Court of Heaven with this case so we drafted the the holy spirit with the holy spirit we drafted went to went to richard's bay and the lord led us through the protocol of getting to the heavenly throne cut a long story short i'm trying to cut the story short and then the lord said now i want you to pray for namibia because i want to open namibia at that time couldn't understand that next week in the newspaper the rail for, for richard's bay was damaged. There was riots. I don't know if you remember the, the rail no, in the, I'm, the, I'm not being... the rail in Namibia the, in in Richards Bay was damaged. There was riots. The trucks stopped. No more coal going out. Then the headline the week after that was Europe's position in the balance because of Namibia. I couldn't believe it. I said, guys, yeah. what is God doing? I went in. We began to pray with the prophets. We began to pray, and the Lord said. It's time to position Namibia for her global assignment. And then we began to pray. Then the Lord said, um, uh, then, then I think it was in about o October, headlines, Russia and China coming to do their military training in Richards Bay. Oh mm. my God, what is happening now? So we began to pray. The day that they came to do their military training, there was torrential rains. The military tents were flooded. They couldn't have the... the, 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 the what was it called? The training? Them. They, couldn't have, them. they couldn't have the training. Then I realized, no, there's something more about this Namibia thing. What is happening? And then we met, we prayed, and then that week, uh, man of God, if you remember, mm -hmm. um, the Lord said, this week there's going to be a revelation of oil wells. Yes. All of a sudden, Namibia, biggest oil well find on the news headlines. That was the Wednesday, the Friday. 
it was in the headlines. The following week, a second oil well on the Tuesday. The, the, the Thursday, a third oil well. All hit the headlines at the same time. I went to the Lord. I said, Lord, what are you talking about? And the Lord said, next week, Biden's wife is going to be in Namibia. Yeah. And Biden yeah. is going to be in the Ukraine. In the Ukraine yeah. Yeah. But we didn't and Biden's that. wife came yeah. to Namibia, as the Lord had said. And Biden went to the Ukraine. Okay. And so the Lord said, I want you to prepare. There is a gatekeeper I have kept. I have preserved her in the West Gate. She has been looking after the West Gate for me. The time to release Namibia now into her global um, assignment has come. I need you to go to... Then the Lord began to speak about the hidden treasures in the on the yes. on the on the on the floor of of this ocean. Yeah. And the Lord said, I have veiled I have hidden Namibia in a veil. Yes. And I now need to yeah. open yeah. up yeah. for her assignment, firstly to Africa, then to the world. Yes. So when you were talking, that is why we were yes. weeping, because the Lord brought us to confirm his word for Namibia yes. and then he said to me do not do anything in Namibia until you have met my gatekeeper mm. protocol doesn't allow you to go yes. into Namibia without having met the gatekeeper oh, so we began to pray and I said Lord who is she said she's a, the Lord said remember yeah, she's a 95, 95 year old woman yeah. and I have given her a word that mm. needs to be released and mm. you and then I said Lord where do I find it don't even have a name and the Lord mm. said you need to go and look for charisma. Charisma. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what charisma is. So I punched in, oh, charisma is a Christian Afrikaans magazine. And Omar's story was on the front page. What is really? It? Yes. Come? What is that journalist's name? Julita. Julita, Julita, Julita Cock. Julita, Julita Cock. Yeah, she's the one who she, put me on the, she, the Esther thing. Her, her article was there. Really? So, so I contacted her. And I said, I need to be able to find Oma, because the Lord said to me that I must find Oma in the season. We are to leave everything to come here because the Lord said, it's now. You must go now. now. Believe you me, in the natural, there's no way we could have come to Namibia. But because the Lord said, you must go now. So we had to come. And we had to come and, 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 and meet Omar. Then he said to me, you need to go. He gave me, a, 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 I think it's, it's 12 proclamations that need to be made over Namibia at the salt place. You must, did you write it down for us? Yeah, I've got it written. I, I can email it to you. You must keep it, email it to you. I've got I've seen me. I've got, I've I've got, got my side to come back. I'll send it to you. Really, yeah. I want and then it. he said, yeah. he said, just like, just like, in the industrial growth, industrialization growth, salt was the major uh, a currency of trade. Mm -hmm. I have purposefully placed the largest salt deposits on the gate, the West Gate in Namibia, mm -hmm. because prophetically the time has come. Namibia is the largest distributor of salt in the globe. And sure. the Lord said, right now, Namibia is going to be the largest distributor oh, of yeah. Of, 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 of the word of God really? and also the opening of the economic mountain not just for Namibia but for Africa yes. when you said Africa's story is changing the Lord told me specifically yes. Africa's story is changing and he's using the Westgate as a catalyst oh. you see that was when I was flying on the in the spirit like you know like from Eagle's view years ago I didn't know what God was showing me and this is a long time ago and I saw the bay with the whales and the big ships and the big fish yeah. came and coming in. Mm. And then we had that thing with when I stood on that cliff yes. with the luminous royal blue yes, yes, and this so shockwave yes. out of yes, the earth know. and the tsunami coming in. Yes. And because the Lord said we're in the season of the breaking of the waters now. Yes. Yeah. It's full birth, and then that sure. that that wave was was full of living glistening stars and yeah. Yahweh spoke audibly those stars are my sons and the sons will come in with a wave of my glory yes. and your life shall break into the shores of eternity through a tidal wave of my glory mm -hmm. and then he, go, oh, he, he blueprinted it into the head of Africa you know the mm -hmm. content turning it becomes a horse's head mm -hmm. and then years ago before um, 
just like seven years ago, the, on the 3rd of January, the Lord sent a white horse. His name is Flame, mm. Hearts of Flame. The end time awakening and uh, through the fiery ones, Joel 2. Mm. And then that horse was brown. Mm. And when he turned three, it supernaturally turned white. Mm. And then on the 1st of January, the Lord brought that horse to the pl plot where I was staying with my brother. And it gave, I can go show you the, the, the photo. And when it gave birth to a filly, look, look what look what was on the head <laughs> of the filly. Listen to this, how specific God is. Look at this, the continent of Africa. Oh, wow. Thank you to say. Oh. Yeah, who is it? There it is, Zechariah 10. And then I saw open vision, a whole powerful vision of Jesus running with the horses, Zechariah 10, because he's coming to judge through the house of Judah, mm. the goat heads and the false visions mm. and the divineness and all that. Ne? These occultic churches have been used for uh, three, to, mm. because it was TV Joshua. Mm. You know, TV Joshua was a witch. People don't understand this. He was a counterfeit out of the Marine Kingdom. Mm. And that's why Quibus von Rensburg fell from mm. Spirit World Ministry, because mm. he was hijacked. Mm. Now there's a third one, John Anasike. Mm -hmm. And I dealt with these spirits. I was sent into yes. the realm of spirit where God judged the principalities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the fine, yeah, it's serious deception. Yes, no, you, I, I remember you telling so us. So government is coming in through the, the house of Judah because judgment, what's happening now? Judgment is in Saul's house. They are going to fall into the sword of their own gospels. Mm -hmm. And it's time for the David and through the rebellion, what they get back to spoil, they open the door to through their rebellion for Jezebel, Python, mm -hmm. Leviathan. I've been trained with this principality. Satan himself was 26 years, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to know your enemy. Mm -hmm. In a long story short, so it's time for the, the Davids to come out of our case because we have an appointment in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Zechariah 12, the house of David shall be as God. Mm -hmm. We sent them giant slayers, the first rock through the sling, the final rock, Daniel 2. Because mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. we're coming now from the glory realm and the scepter it's of Yahweh, prophesied in Genesis 49, the scepter shall not apart yeah. from Judah like the Moses company. With the judgment, we say, mm -hmm. let my people go. Because <laughs> it's the Exodus. And then when the Father said to me, I'm sending you to remember to activate the apostolic destiny of this nation, after he gave a scroll to bring the church through the cross, not just to the cross. Because mm. they, the, the expected outcome of the doctrine only produces spiritual babies. So no man of God can hear where God has not taken him. Mm. You see, so they make alpha, a salvation alpha and omega of the gospel. And I'm talking blueprints. where God took me into the Matthew 4 wilderness, because that's where you must conquer. You must conquer in private before you can reign in public. Yeah. Now Satan hijacked his prosperity preachers, typical the God of this world, like Yeshua, on the mountaintop, if you bow down and serve me, self, I will give it to you. And then now he, he comes through the sounds, you save a quiet wealth and end of nothing, you are wretched, pitiful, poor, blind and naked. I, I counsel yeah. you, we've done that. Yeah. And now it flips back to when Jesus appeared to me with fire in his eyes after it was prophesied. He said, God's coming to break your hearts, your generation. It was immensely intense. And Yeshua God stood right before me like a father with blazing fire in his eyes. And he, the prophecy said, he's coming to break your heart. And when the Lord stuck his hands into his chest and he took his heart and broke it, my heart broke and he ripped my being in, to, like into the abyss. And, I, and he said to me, if you, I put you to sleep in, 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 the, in the flesh, the outer court, in the inner court of your soul, you're standing before me, Peter, in your spirit, man, because if you weep like this, then you will die. Mm -hmm. And then the Son of God took his head when he broke his heart, my heart broke. Mm -hmm. And in that immense travail through the Holy Spirit, he took me like a father by my shoulders and he looked right into the molecular part of my being and I've never seen him that intense and the Lord quoted that second Chronicle 7 14 now watch this mm -hmm. we who have been called by his name with humble as how we prayed we sought his faith return from my wicked ways then it goes and, and therefore he hears from heaven he will now raise up the, have raised up the bride to heal creation mm -hmm. and it coincides with the glorification because we're about to receive the glorified bodies which I've received a few times and mm -hmm. it's time now. And so Lord showed me like we stand like Martha now in the upper room season because we've reached the mountain. Mm -hmm. This is why this was so powerful. It's the man child. Mm -hmm. And we can have the blueprints right through the old council of God through, from Genesis right through the fulfillment of this. Né? And so the Lord showed me a vision 
like we're standing like Martha before the tomb of Lazarus, because we've all been stripped. And this is why now it's coming through Isaiah, arise, shine, your light has come. That's him. That's him. And that's the context. Often I want to release this over them, Father, apostolically as, as well, in the name of Yeshua, Jesus. And of course, Solomon wrote the psalm, unless the Lord builds. So now we've been stripped, but now God says, he sent an old farmer, old, he walks like Jacob from, from uh, Arawap, been involved with him, he's a herder, he's a shepherd, mm. very wealthy, and uh, it was a dream, mm. I walked into a Vintuk assignment, I didn't even know I was there, and he came and he told me this dream, when he told me the dream, Father struck me like a lightning through my spirit, gave me interpretation, I freaked out because I struggled, you know, the glory, and he gave me to, uh, to give me the grace, and this is what we're coming into. Father showed me a cult. Okay, we see in part, we prophesy in part. Mm -hmm. Now perfection shall come, mm -hmm. and that's him. It's same. Rise, shine, your light has come. Mm -hmm. The perfection now comes, and this is why the Lord has uh, 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 laid and spoken and wove the language of His love into the bride. Mm -hmm. The silent language of this mysterious love because we can't operate in the power and the end time glory of the latter house which is the fullness of the deity unless the language of his love has been perfected in us first mm. corinthians 13. and so now it's that re unleash the the resurrection where god is going to break the corruption over creation and the lord said i have to give you the glorified bodies because your flesh will not keep up with what God is coming to do through the remnant to fulfill prophecy and to begin to break the power of death over creation. Mm. And, and and I'm telling you, that, and that all links back to Second Chronicles 7. Now he's coming to, that's part of the greater works, to mm. take creation back, links again with Daniel 2, mm. the stone. And Father said to me, you, we, you are the coming kingdom. And we, the, we don't fear the tribulation because we are the trouble that is coming. Because mm. we're not coming to choose sides, we're coming to take over. Was in, mm. in, in the, the house of prayer that was open here in 2018, mm. I sat there and Yeshua opened the realm. He stood first, like towered out, Isaiah 51, mm. to lay the foundations within the earth, the Melchizedek priesthood. Because mm -hmm. we now have been perfected as the lambs. Mm. And now we're coming into the kingship of the lion ministry mm. to release the roar of government authority throughout the earth. That great insight to Psalm 110, your people shall be willing in the day of your power in the womb of the moon, morning you shall have the dew of your youth. It's the sun's Joel 2, like dew spread on the mountains, the people come great and strong, the likes of whom. And we walk with them in the fire, before them a fire devours, behind them a flame burns. The Lord said, you're not coming, ready to come out of the furnace until you can dance with me in the fire. Conquered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. We've refused to bow to Baal and uh, the, the wealth and the splendor of this world. And now we come forth out, out of the furnace into promotion in the mm -hmm. province of Babylon. That's the Joseph Breadman that both mm -hmm. physically and spiritually will feed the nations from the bounty of the king's table. Yeah. And then I saw a vision of Yeshua walking. He held the money pouch and Judas was missing. And he said, the treasure of the king shall be rescued in this generation from those with heart like Judas. My bride was faithful and little set over my spirit over the treasure of the king. Until Christ is formed in us, he's going to trust his spirit and nature in us. Because it's massive. And it says, arise, shine, a crucified bride resurrected into glorified life. Then the wealth of the Gentiles shall be converted and then the harvest. Mm. If you read this, those chapters 60, mm. 61 and 62, that those are the blueprints. Mm. And so now when the old man gave me the, the dream, I saw the quilt of our lives. Only God sees the clear picture because we don't even know who we are yet, man. Mm. We're, yeah. we're still hidden. Now we're about to be unveiled, Isaiah 66. Mm -hmm. You shall appear unto your joy, they shall be ashamed. And God said, when I reveal the true bride, I will going to lift up the skirt of the olive to expose their nakedness. Because mm. we're the mother of the harvest. Yeah. Is it wonderful? Yeah. And then I saw that it's important that you have to come in when that is this is the prepared hearts. These are the prepared hearts. And then I saw the cult of our lives, the sting, this and God took me into the realm. He showed me Psalm 45. How the Holy Spirit sat there. He's the one weaving your robe of righteousness. The queen shall be brought to the king in the raiment of fine needlework. Mm -hmm. 
and I saw the righteousness of Yeshua, the word of God, Hebrews 4 verse 12, this is what ons gesteek is, nee? mm. ow, 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 and I saw the quilt, the Father says, now I'm going to make the vision clear, I will give you the wisdom like King gave to Solomon to build, and I will bring and provide the means to come off. Okay. And God said, declared over Satan, yeah. Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, and Babylon as well, the whole thing, I will strike the dragon with the iron scepter that shall release the world transfer. Yes. And, 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 and as soon as I conquer Adam completely, I give him the garden back. Mm-hmm. And this I'm is what we're coming to into now. Yeah. And then, I don't know if I told you, you gave me Isaiah 35, the desert shall blossom like a rose yes. seven years yes. ago, and I'm restoring the economy of this nation, yes. which is now coming into fulfillment. And then this whole thing, that's gonna that wave is coming to spread into like wildfire into Africa, and that is, is Zachariah ten, the head of the horse. Yeah. We're running with the horses, and I'll end with this. A friend of mine, Jock, is here. He saw the raindrops falling, big red ripples, and then he, he said it began like this, and I saw the, and heard the galloping of the horses. So it's time. Mm-hmm. And this is the release that God was doing. Did you, like, did you see how quiet the ocean has been since that shift? Yes. Supernatural peace. Yes. We're in a different zone, man. Yeah. Yes. I've since, since that shift, I've never been so hidden. Well, they come because there's always that backlash and hell surrounded me. They couldn't come close to you because, and, and it's this thing. This is what we, we've been set up for habitation and encounter. I was, and I didn't tell you this, and this is going to happen. I'm in my room. It's like, I wish it would happen now, Father. I'm in my room. I'm wide awake. The glory of Yahweh strikes me. You don't know in or out the body. It was like God dissolved me into liquid, and he sucked me through the roof. Eternity opened up, and I went up, and I experienced the catching up of the man-child. And I stood before Yahweh in blinding glory. We're going to see him, because if there's an unveiling, we have an appointment with the Father. And then... He said to me five things you, soon. This is six years ago. You'll be unshakable. The immortality of the bride. Mm-hmm. But what Jesus, he sure prophesied to John, the martyr in the last book. If I will, that John remains until I return. That's, you and you know that yes, the two yes, that's yes. going to read the resurrection is Lazarus and John. Mm-hmm. They're still on the earth. They never left. Mm-hmm. And soon as Alvaro knows the cave in Turkey where they're hidden. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And that's and yeah, and the Lord said to me, death will uh, we will swallow it up in victory, and and uh, death is no power. My crucified ones, because uh, uh, with the fulfillment, okay, when the Father took me through six six thousand years Bible prophecy in a split second, and it was crazy, man. And he and, and and Elijah appeared before me, and he said to me, the generation that my son spoke about, Luke sixteen seventeen, Luke twenty, uh, Luke seventeen, Luke twenty one, Matthew twenty four. And the, the generation that all my prophets have held only through saw through the vague prophetic vision. It struck me like a spirit nuke, atom bomb, and my spirit I burst into tears. And Father Yahweh said, "You're living it," and He declared, "You are the most blessed generation that ever walked the face of this earth." Mm-hmm. The time of fulfillment, and this is why government is coming. It's, you know, we're not coming to two sides; we're coming to take over. And the shaking is going to accelerate into the gathering of the nations prophesied in Genesis 40. Nine deceptors shall not apart from Judah nor lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh comes, and unto him the gathering of the people shall be. And he's going to gather the nations to his bride. Yeah. The end time harvest will play out like the first catch of fish. The Lord is going to bring the harvest to his bride, and he said, I'm raising up Namibia as an end time capital Goshen for the nations to run to. And it's as I for the canopy of God's protection over this nation. Yes, it's so wonderful. Yesterday, yeah. I, I, I don't know how significant this is, but I'm going to say it anyway. Yeah. Yesterday we were in, what's that place called? Hinties. Hinties. Okay, Hinties. the Lord sent us there to a small little orphanage in the middle of a, a little a, a settlement there. Hmm? But when we, when we arrived at the petrol station, we jumped out of the cars. There was three young men. I don't know the Namibian dynamic, but I can only say what the Lord spoke to me there at, at that moment. These three young men came with little boxes, and, and they had different precious stones in these boxes. Yeah. And so they came and they said, uh, Auntie, don't, don't you want to buy? Don't you want to buy? And I said to them, no, 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 we're not interested in buying. Uh, but but I, I could hear that the, the Holy Spirit was trying to say something to me. 
about this occasion and they were all different types and and the more they're showing me this i'm seeing the ephod if you mm -hmm. know yeah the ephod the yeah, priestly the, ephod. Yeah, the yeah. um they, they're talking to me but i keep the the, the, the holy spirit keeps giving me flashes of the ephod so we we engaged these three young men yeah. and uh, i said to them no we're not going to buy and then afterwards i said lord why was i so troubled about that experience and then the lord asked me and i think he was using our kzm context he said did they come and sell you bananas i said no he said did they come and sell you apples i said no he said did they come and sell you grapes i said no what did they sell you i said they were selling me precious stones and he said i wanted you to see what's full in namibia but i'm going to deal with those that are selling her Okay. I'm going to deal with those selling, that yeah. have been selling yeah. the yeah. beer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, selling the yeah. beer. Yes, we're claiming, selling claiming, claiming it back. Yes. Because this is how they started. Oma, they said to me, this, this one is a hundred rand. I said, no. Okay, 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 give us 40 rand. No. Uh, okay, 10 rand, whatever you've got. Yeah. And the Lord was saying to me that there yeah, are ministers so within <laughs> Namibia that have been trading her. Mm. But he has now come to fix that up. He's come to fix that up. Mm -hmm. And so I said to them, no, we're not buying. We're not buying, but I, I was grateful to the Lord that, that, that he was showing me Namibia's worth to Africa mm. and that he's mm. covered her. Mm. And right now, those that have been raping her mm. are going to be dealt with. Mm. God just releasing this. Just come into agreement, guys. Say, Father, Father we release the seraphim. We release the seraphim. Oh, God. Sure. Stay with me. Pillars of fire. Pillars of fire. Isaiah 51. Isaiah 51. To the north, to the south, the east, and the west. Walls of fire. All corruption sees. All corruption sees. Judgment by the scepter of Yahweh. Amen. Father, we unlock and call for the apostolic prophetic scroll Amen. as a living sword, according to Isaiah 34. Amen. And that day, the sword of the Lord shall be bathed in blood in the heavenlies. Amen. I say to you, Satan, ancient thrones fall. We are the coming kingdom. As, uh, as Psalm 24, the earth is the Lord's in the fullness thereof. The war has been won, Lucifer. Yeah. On the cross, it is finished. We've just been walking out the battle. We are the David stone, hidden in Christ in a mount of assembly, prophesied in Daniel 2. Unlock and release. Jandose, we bring the judgment of Yahweh. We take creation back. Like the Lord Yeshua. <laughs> the king of all creation declared to me seven years ago it's time to possess the heavens your canopy of governmental authority father be spread across the nations now in the heavens in earth lay the foundation to establish the heavens we thank you and lord when i saw you in when you open the house of prayer and the next meeting you shape-shifted yourself and you turned into a lighthouse mm. yeah and you declared my bride shall be a city of refuge for the nations to run to i'm establishing my bride as a beacon of hope yes, yes. in the time of the shaking arise shine your light is come and darkness yeah. covers the earth yeah. and great yeah. darkness yeah. shall be upon the people yes. but yes. the glory of the yes. lord rises yes. upon yes. you yes. and it shall be seen on you yes. lord that your glory be unleashed yes. like swords like oh, like yes. that light i see now lord cuts through the darkness it just pierces and shatters the darkness open heavens that's why the ocean has been so silent we speak peace to the nations lord you bring rest to the uproar because we take the harvest righteousness join peace we are the coming kingdom we reign in peace and we thank you for it in Jesus. Can I get you it's net by Lars is Lars ja die Here vir ons weet ek mis weet nie altyd hoekom hy vir jou goed wys nie en dan sien mense dit mos later nê Lars ja die Here vir ons begin wys 
een paar van ons um, profetiek intercessors wat begin sê het, you must claim back the treasures of this land. Nee, en ons het nie rechtig verstaan hoekom nie. Pieter het ons baie clarity kom gee. Want hy het gesê, hulle, hulle, hulle is so corrupt daarmee. Hulle kry bijvoorbeeld Iran, het hulle nou weer daar in die Kalari gekry. Dan bel hulle al die, al die ou groot ouwens van recht oor die wereld en dan ja. kyk hulle wie bied vir hulle die meeste geld en vooral onder die tafel deur en then it's gone. So al ons grootste treasures gaan uit die land uit. Nee, dit gaan uit en dan word dit verwerk en dan moet ons dit terugkoop. Dit is so corrupt. So we, we started for claiming and claiming it back. If you can just bring the rest of the team and I think it's a bit unfair. Yeah. The Lord said to me now in, in Revelation 18, oh, 18, 18, 12, yeah. He said to me that the merchants of the world will lament because no one is going to buy their merchant anymore. You can't eat diamonds, you can't eat birds, you can't eat any uh, anything. He said they they must now put food on the table for the hungry people. Yes. They can't eat the gems. They will not be, there will not be safe for them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because there's nothing, they, they can't eat it. Mm-hmm. This is now a, a tremendous, it is like a, a trap mm-hmm. that the devil is putting now in front of the nation. Mm-hmm. Because of the people are coming from Europe, because of all these riches that is here, they come. Mm-hmm. That's I told them, if you come to get something, you'll be very disappointed. If you come to give, you'll be surprised. Mm-hmm. Because they have, the, their motives are wrong. Mm. Mm. It's not about money, it's about the gospel of the kingdom. Mm. So the Lord said to me, is going to bring a, a tremendous uh, 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 pressure on the people that they mm. can see Amen. that if they lose their life, there's nothing more to be had. Okay. So they have to have in a crisis to make a, deci- mm. a decisive decision that they first seek the kingdom of God. Yes. So I know this is going to be increased. The, the, the battle is intensified. Mm. I know it. And uh, uh, battle I know about travail because when I met him seven years ago, he, he, he spotted me. He spotted me because I read the book and I read him in the book. I could see the pick, the, the, the spirit in the book I could pick up. So the Lord allowed us to meet. Then he spotted me. The Lord yeah. showed me two, two, two puzzles, transparent, burning with the Shekinah. And it was like this. Interlock. This is what's happening here. Mm. Yeah. Because oh, you know yes. we have that in Nehemiah's sign. Mm. As as I want to give something to, that to the Lord both. said, excuse me, I must give it to her, about the, 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 the Constitution. Yes. Somebody read it to me, because I can't read now, as you see my manual, we pray for me. He said, it is a manual for life. Then he gave on the 7th, when they had uh, the Passover feast on the 7th mm. of April, he said Isaiah 7. <coughs> there is written Immanuel, that means God with us. Oh, okay. So put on my bed. And that means God with us. Come as many as you come in. And so then he said to me, uh, then he said to Immanuel's manual mm-hmm. for life. Immanuel's manual for life. Constit- uh, uh, concerning all all nations yeah concerning all nations so we've got to put this in front of the constitution this is a mandate for life for all nations if they tap into this constitution they can have what it constitutes mm, yes. everything yes. but they are going to be tested Tested. Yes. I just want to be obedient. Father, we release the governmental angels and the uh, armies of Yahweh to, to uh, 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 rest the thieves. Yeah. Every We come against every satanic assignment, Satan. We are the government of God. We declare it's disallowed. By divine decree this day, in earth as it is in heaven. You stop your thievery. thievery. We declare the Isaiah 59 standard of Yahweh of his spirit, of his government, of his throne, of his scepter against you. And we draw, we father, we surround this, this nation in the blood of your son. Impenetrable, governmental, that canopy of uh, Isaiah 4, father, a canopy, governmental authority. A pillar of cloud by day, pillar of fire by night. You, your bride shall move as a tabernacle in the wilderness. I thank you, Lord. You rebuke these assignments now to further kill, steal, and destroy this nation. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes.
for the for the team um the lord was just uh, dealing so beautifully um with 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 the issue of the treasures that are being stolen uh, from remember the lord is dealing with that this morning and i was sharing that and our sister was 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 sharing something that the lord had had shown and I, and i said it's unfair for her to share this and 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 peter shared something beautifully and then also took authority over the corruption that has been stealing the treasures Ooh, yes. uh, from from namibia she so, felt what you felt when the seraphim was released yes <laughs> Yeah, last year, the year, the uh, last year, the, the the Lord started showing us that um, we we know there's a lot of corruption. I mean, everybody knows that, but there's a there's a lot of treasures. The Lord started showing me that there's such a lot of treasures in Namibia. Um, um, we call they call our coastline. They call it the skeleton coast. It means death, man. Yes. And there's no such thing. It's just mm. hidden. It's hidden. Mm. So he the, said he's the, us for us. Yeah, he said he's, he's, he hidden told me that the that the, the, the desert is full of oil and the coastline is full of diamonds. That's that's mm. where you that yeah. he showed you that as well. Mm. And that's just one thing. Or well, that's just two things. We've mm. got such a lot of minerals and, and, and um all kinds of um precious stones and everything that uh, everybody needs. You know mm. that we are I think now with the second uranium found we are all, I think the second biggest uranium supplier in the world. Mm -hmm. So what happens is they just sell the rights to these things to the Chinese mm -hmm. or Japanese or mm -hmm. Americans or whoever. They take everything out of the country mm -hmm. and then they 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 um uh, um <coughs> verwerkt it. What is it? Um, refine it. Yeah, they re they refine or they you know they finish it and then we must buy it back. Yes. <laughs> yes. So the Lord showed us that we must start proclaiming, decreeing and declaring into the heavenlies, mm. striking the ground. So he sent me here into Vals Bay as well. And we stri I, he said I must strike the ground 12 times, it's governmental. <coughs> so we claim back the provisions <laughs> for yes. us, for um, the not for the Namibian people, yeah. but for the bride of Christ. Yes. So it's yeah. coming back, it's coming back, the, 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 the provisions will come back to us and that the gateways will mm. be closed for the evil one and that yes. it will be open for the for for yes. the lord to bring provision yeah. and to send it wherever it must go yeah. um, you the lord to say i'm stopping the rape of yes. africa yeah. yes. 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 see the thing is now what the, mm. i've experienced now mm. you don't jump into your destiny you must grow into it i know yes. what it is because Amen. i'm 96 years old i'm mm. still growing and learning all the time mm. we never stop learning mm. because the holy spirit is our teacher mm. and if we can hear him We've got everything because he is the one who stops us when there's danger. If we just can hear what he says, it's a red light, like I saw red light now coming. Mm -hmm. And so then I stop, I don't know what it is, but I do stop mm -hmm. and say, I do not proceed if I'm not sure it's you. Mm -hmm. So this, we all need to tap into the reality of relationship with the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And this is where the, 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 the bottle line comes in now. Mm -hmm. Those who don't have the Spirit don't belong to God. Is mm -hmm. that serious? Mm -hmm. A church doesn't make you <coughs> a, a disciple. Mm -hmm. You've got to follow Jesus to be a disciple. Mm -hmm. It's pattern and principles that you need to know about. His character mm -hmm. is formed in Him. Mm -hmm. So as we behold him, we are being changed. So this is not jumping into something. This is growing into it. Mm -hmm. So as I say now, as you spoke, I know exactly it was degrees that I had to grow into. Mm -hmm. And what was testing me in my circumstances mm -hmm. to see if I could trust him for the outcome. Mm -hmm. And every time I was in a, a deep pit of desperation, God came through for me. Mm -hmm. So I know how to become through, but it's not easy. It's a birthing process. So he said, when the bird, my, my bride has come off age, he sent me 21, 21 uh, red roses. I, it was long ago, he said, my bride has come off age. He said, you can't birth. Give birth to some if you are not ready. You must give birth to the sons, and they are born running, and they will marry the spirit of father in Psalm 110. So the thing is now, we've got to see the work happening right before our eyes by living it out. Mm. This is the pattern and the prince of the living episodes. No can say, you can't wonder if the, if the, if the miracle stands before you, how are you going to act against a miracle? How? Mm. Mm. When Lazarus rose from the dead, they want to kill the evidence. Mm. Huh? Mm. But the whole body is now um, as a ministry. <laughs> Each one is a member, it's a ministry, yeah. but we don't have a ministry as such, we have a function, mm. different functions, it's the mm. same spirit. Mm. If I share with you, I share with you, then we've got equal. Mm. 
Mm. That's equality. That is the divine balance. And only the cross restores that. Amen. Oh, yes. Mm. We can't function without the balance. Mm. Mm. We are lopsided. Mm. Because it's too heavy here and too, too light in, inside. You see the thing? Mm. We have to be tested. God cannot. He cannot trust us if you are not tested. Mm. 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 So if we don't see that material things mean nothing. You yes, can't yes. eat gold or silver. Mm. Mm. You must produce food. I spoke to the farmers and they say, ask, go to the president of, of after the minister of agriculture, ask for land that we can put our own food on the table because the people are hungry. The orphans, the widows are hungry. I'm concerned mm. with them. Mm. Yeah. And so, and then I prayed for and I said, by, by the way, I just throw in something. Uh, uh, mm. Ask God for the outcome of the destiny of this nation. Mm. Because I see the rivalry on governmental level, the mm. mismanagement of resources. Mm. I saw it all. But we are helpless. We can't do anything as a person. Mm. But when I prayed, as you see in the Constitution, mm. That I had to speak to the president. I don't know. I, I I had a little testimony there, but I did speak to the president, and I know it was the Holy Spirit that convicted him. That mm. God such as it would not be you, it was my spirit. So I had the border to, to address him, mm. but it took three months before he got the message. But the devil didn't want him. The devil was warning the people against me. They mm. must be afraid. So the devil is afraid of me. I know, mm. but it's too late. It's yes. late now, because now the Lord confirmed. I said, you don't need, nobody needs to know where you are, I know where you are. Mm -hmm. I said, it doesn't matter. I want to be in a small place like this now for eight years I'm here, and I'm not isolated, I am separated. Mm -hmm. So I pray a lot in the night, and I see how God is making connections on governmental level that I didn't know about. Mm -hmm. That Lolita book, I never met her. Mm -hmm. But the Lord told to come here. And I told her that I was fasting now three times to Esther fast and nothing happened. But this time God said, now is the time. How, how swift can he get? How must he do? Mm -hmm. She said, oh, Tani, you just press a button. I said, oh, I can <laughs> I don't know what this is. But then it was a satellite. It was just then the whole world knew. So I knew God has sent me over to America and Israel right, just to make connections. He said to me, I'm not sending you to a school, I'm sending you to make connections. And if you don't function in one, you will never function in a commission. The unity of the body is so important to God because the unity comes from his heart. We want, he wants to discover him as his father, our father, our beloved. And if this can get hold of our heart, then we've got everything. But if you look, look here on this, or this one's favor or that one's favor, it can't function. We can't, we can't have the favor of people. We may have God's favor, but then if we do have God's favor, we will have the whole world against us. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter as long as we know He's there for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I have an experience that God put His love in my heart for people. Mm -hmm. He said to me, love is not a feeling, it's a decision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I make it easier mm -hmm. for you. You do the loving and I do the sifting. I say, I like that. I put the water out with the bath water and everything. Mm -hmm. So God, I just want to say a little bit, thank you very much mm -hmm. that I know now you will pray for me because in myself yes. there's nothing. I have no strength in myself, mm -hmm. nothing I can't see. I want to read this book so to know what's the coming of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I try, but uh, it's very difficult for me. Mm -hmm. But if you will just pray for me for strength to endure until the end. Mm -hmm. I'm expecting a sudden way. You will mm -hmm. suddenly come to his temple, the angel of the covenant. Mm -hmm. But I'm so glad that you that you were obedient to come mm -hmm. as quick as because as you as you said, time is of the essence, time shall be no more. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know this five minutes I was it was unexpected. Mm -hmm. But the Lord said my timing. And so he said my timing is as important as my calling. Mm -hmm. So then I know that uh, that the timing that he sent me overseas is now 42 years ago. Mm -hmm. He said, now I put a plug on your desert experience. So I believe now after these connections are being made, mm -hmm. that God is going to, do, do, to move swiftly now. Because now we have <coughs> the line roaring, the prophetic voice. Mm -hmm. The prophetic voice will be heard all mm -hmm. over the world. Mm -hmm. okay? Because he's like a line, he's very radical. It's like I'm, I'm radical. And mm -hmm. I know this is right, this is right. Mm -hmm. There's nothing, there's no, this is right. The, mm. wor the word is the truth, there's nothing else. Mm. You can't argue about the truth. Mm. The truth stands mm. its own leg. 
you don't know how the, the, it hangs in the balance, the whole world is hanging like in a nothing. God has put it there. He's mm. still in control. Mm. So the nations are now come to an end. The times of the nations are come to an end. Mm. And then the little stone that is hitting the, the image is about to... That is when the suns are being revealed and when the iron <coughs> gate is open. That is the law of gravity breaks in the resurrection. Mm. This is it. The iron, just Peter is in the gevangenis. Peter out of prison. The prison is our own flesh. He's holding us captive. Our mm. own flesh is captivity. 33 years in captivity. Jesus was 33 in captivity in the flesh. Mm. And I'm 96 years in captivity. I would love to come out of captivity into the mm -hmm. liberty of the sons of God. The spirit is this liberty. The cross liberates the spirit. This is the truth. Mm -hmm. And to the, to the degree that we are crucified, to that degree we are liberated. But you see to me, if, if, if the cross is put deeply in us, it will release all men. When I'm drawn, to the, when, when I'm lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men mm. unto me. So the cross just releases up, and now the nations will come to his light and kings to the brightest of his eyes, because that which he saw, that light is the light of the resurrection. Mm. God is light, and that is a blinding splendor. Nobody can look, only the eagle can look in the light. Yesterday, the yesterday we had the privilege of listening to 34 little children and they sang the song Ons ontmoet Jesus by die kruis ja. Nie op die strate, nie op die pleine Maar daar by die kruis, by die kruis You remember I kept singing yeah. that the whole that, I'm, yeah. I'm listening to you and I'm just thinking, yeah, yeah I heard those little babies yeah. sing, sing that. A man who carried the cross, his name is, um, Dave, uh, yeah. Simon, Simon of Sardinia. Yeah. No, no, he was carrying the cross, his, uh, his name is David, and he said, he, now, I'm coming to put it now because oh. the Lord said, I must stop it. The cross is here, he said, that and that night, the cross said to me, this is my resting place for ever, for I have desired it. Psalm 132, 14. Mm. This is my respect for even here will go not get to here. Isn't it amazing? Mm. That is wonderful. Now the cross is at is a, a, it is an emblem of suffering and shame, but it is also the gateway to the glory. So mm. when we don't touch the glory, eventually the glory will touch us. Isn't it amazing? Mm. So we bless our Christ that we are here to wash feet, to restore the divine balance. It was free to transmit the anointing for serving. We are their mm -hmm. servants. We are not big shots at all. Mm -hmm. So this is the bottom line that we have to come down and we can communicate and relate to anyone. Mm -hmm. The man in the street, the open, the blind, the whole, mm -hmm. doesn't matter how far they've gone. Mm -hmm. one, no one is too far for God. Mm -hmm. But the devils will have now to go where they belong. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. yes. They go to their choices. Mm -hmm. But God does not repair the hell for people. Mm. He suffered and died for people. Mm. But the devil and his angels go to hell, not people. We are here to, to ask of you the nations. I call them and I, I did it all that you see them, all this to there. Did you see that? Mm. Yeah. So all that God is going to grant us the petition for the nations that he died for. We said because you are motivated by love. I put the nations in your room to give birth to what I carried. Because mm. if you carry them full time, you are impregnated with destiny. And when you spoke this morning, I knew that what you said was true. And now when he said, then I know it is happening right before my eyes. Mm -hmm. I'm very humble that you came because this is a, a physical evidence of God was doing in the spirit is coming to fruition. Amen. It, it can touch one another. We are not ghosts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's me. I'm, that's, I'm not against. I'm flesh and blood like you are. <laughs> Master, do where do you reside? Come and see. <laughs> he's uh, he's hiding in each one of us. You see, the cross is not a doctrine. It's a reality. Yeah. It erupts in resurrection mm -hmm. life. It's a corner weed who died and brings forth in like manner. Is Christ living again and yes. again? Where he's crucified, he will rise again in you, in you, in me. And this is the place where the tomb is empty. Mm. It's risen. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, it is. No low here, low there. Peter, when we left on Friday, 
I, I, I totally agree with you. Something phenomenal happened in the spiritual realm on Friday. I don't mm. think all of us can even fathom what God did here. Yeah. Mm. But we, we fully... <laughs> I saw this meeting. God says to me, now this is what I showed you last year. I walked into a governmental... He showed me... It, it, I'm going to cut That's very short because it's about the 11, 11, 11. Okay. And... Uh, 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 he showed me two motorbikes running, uh, riding yeah. alongside yeah. 1111 yeah. and I saw this meeting I saw this meeting at, at, towards the end last year and, and it was all colored you know like <laughs> I'm telling you, this I'm telling you and I'm walking into government I'm excited God shows me the bikes and there's a, there's a green motorbike he show, only shows me the, the wheel with a with piston and like down here was like electronic screen with 1111 and the father came and he, and he filled this thing with oil oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then i walked and i was excited and because I, I knew that part of the this whole thing with 1111 it's divine alignment mm. one like the other and then we come a full circle like sheriff we should gonna beat the gun until the image of the fourth man mm. now i had to speak this out Years ago, I saw Yeshua standing. It was like I, it was as high as the Empire State's building. Never understood it, but now I do. And out of his left arm, a whirlwind came, and he raised up this temple. Yeah. And when the, as soon as the temple temple was built, I saw him go into the temple. Yeah. And he gave me the pattern in the in, in the temple dedication of King Solomon. Yeah. First, the house was built, the living stones yeah. fitted together. Then the the priests yeah. were consecrated. The Melchizedek order we we've raised up, perfected as lambs, serving yeah. the meekness yeah. of the lamb, the obedience of the lamb, to follow the voice of the shepherd. Yeah. The yoke of Christ fully surrendered people um, lying on the over the shoulder. Because you're strong as your level of surrender. That's the new one he's adding in. Yeah. That's the uh, and so the lamb has been sacrificed because he's rising in us in full strength, full power. And then while I'm sitting here, the Lord says, This is the fulfillment of that, because the temple has been built. Now the next thing the ashes shall be filled with glory. And when I looked up to that light, it that's like this, like stars. You know, and because it's that thing where, where that I saw here. That Yeshua <clears throat> stood to house of prayer, my bride is the house of prayer, his habitation, and then he, he shape shifted himself and he became. I, I, I illustrated it in a picture, it was so beautiful, where he stands inside of a lighthouse because this is what we are. And then I saw the, the light of Jesus exploding through us, mm. piercing the darkness, and I saw the hand of God coming through his end sure. time vessels. And God says, I'm taking creation back. Mm. 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 Powerful, I just had to speak that mm. down. Mm. Mm. After everyone's done, I feel like the Lord is saying we must sing that, that song that we were singing in the morning. Uh, I don't care what the world says, I got the gospel running through my veins. I'm so down, I'm so down for you. Just like she says she feels that we need to sing that song, I don't care what the world says. I've got the gospel running through my veins because I'm sold out. Yes. Sold out. It's yes. wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and and I was I was saying, Peter, that when we were leaving and, and those in the car will attest to this, I said, I don't know when, but we're going to have Peter in the East Gate. Who preach at the East? Peter. Yeah. Were you at the harbor also? Yeah, we went to the you harbor. Pray? Please, because there is a gateway for a lot of stuff coming in that <laughs> we don't need here. Yes. The devil dumped a lot of dirt upon us. We don't need it here. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I firmly need, believe, yeah. Peter. Yeah. I spoke to the guys in the car. I don't know when, I don't know how, but I know that you're going to come to us in the East Gate. Mm -hmm. Where is that? I don't know. That, that is in Durban. Okay. In Durban? Yeah. That is where we are. In the east gate, you guys, uh, the west gate. you in the west gate, yeah, yeah. we are in the east gate. I, I, I said to them, I can't understand how God would take a prayer house from the east gate to come here to a prayer house in the west gate. That's not coincidence. <coughs> you guys, it was, yeah, it was the, 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 the other day. You feel how sealed you are. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Please pray for I'm telling you, I'm also. sitting here, you know, with vessels, man. Mm. And heaven opens up, and I yeah. see the Lord standing in on the mountain, and he opens his arms. Mm. And that mountain of meeting. Mm. 
because that's governmental authority now. We got, we, yeah. we God says now you are hidden in the cleft. Okay. You are one with me now. I will release my glory, because yeah. love has been established. First Corinthians yeah. thirteen, mm -hmm. and this is why we go from from seeing vaguely, because there's a clarity yeah. coming. Yeah. And I'm telling you, there's that gathering in the mountain where we will go up. Up like I've experienced it before, and well, I was. I, they, some you didn't. <laughs> did not hear this. Yeah, I have to, to just pick it out. I'm a three seven. Eh? I was uh, awake. This is how it's going to happen. A powerful uh, the catching up the manifestation of the glorified sons of God is going to be now. Because that's going to be the greatest governmental shift. It's it, it's going to cause a cosmic explosion. And we're in the upper room. We've been in the upper room. Yeah. I can go with you through the blueprints. But we've been in the upper room yeah. the entirety of last year. Because a year before the Lord gave me Acts 2, the quickening, like the five wise virgins, the Gideon mm -hmm. in time, uh, it's a remnant principle. Like the 120 gathered in the upper room. Okay? And then he, I was in my room. And then suddenly I had two of those. You're wide awake. This is how powerful it's going to be. And suddenly the glory of the great Yahweh Adonai enters the room. You don't know if it's in or out the body, brother. It's you don't need <laughs> the Yerushalayim for you. It's all I can say, me. And it's like he dissolves your being into liquid, and you suck you through the roof, like you would imagine being raptured. Now I was awake. And eternity opens up above me, and I got sucked up by the resurrection power to declare it with his authority and into the earth and to write the vision. And I stood in blinding glory before the Father. We are about to see him. The Son, Yeshua, he said, You come to me through my Son. I saw the angel Gabriel standing the other day with stealth wings, and it was so powerful. He just he stood with thoughts. With his back towards me, and when I looked at his wings, the glory of God struck me, and I was elevated into like the, the throne room, that realm. It's very difficult to explain that, that place, but I knew we were coming like full circle into the meeting of the Father, the man, because he says, like I was caught up, and as I stood in in the blinding glory of of sonship, because he's about to to revere, to reverse our age as well. We're coming out of the wilderness because when they come in, all the corruption will flee. And I was in the, in the, before the throne of the, of the Father, and the Father showed me all the. And you know who prophesied? Ray Macaulay. And Ray was is old now. Ray walks like the blue bochel man. And Ray was there because so I was there six and a half years years ago. And God had Ray prophesy and call the man child before the throne. And like clear as anything, man, the Father spoke audibly to me, and I saw how He poured His golden glory over us. And he said to me audibly, he said, I'm going to reverse the age of my people. Wow. You're not going to prophesy this into your DNA by the spirit of prophecy. Yes. By the apostolic decree of Yeshua, the Christ. Mm. You know, we're not even going. You're not even going to recognize yourself, because he's bringing us into agelessness, ageless beauty. The Lord said to me, "You receive the crown of patience when He can reign over time, because we're moving into timelessness." Oh, and I saw an open vision of the Elijah sons years ago when I was complaining about the second ever divination. We are now the confusion, the prophetic, the perfect, the pathetic side as well but then i saw an open vision and i saw the elijah sons going up like fire like elijah went up to the throne and it's joel achel malachi three in a day when i make up my jewels and you will return how long and you will distinguish between the those who serve god and not because he's dropping the plumb line in us, say the pillars, the pillars, the pillars, the pillars. so be encouraged by that I don't know what 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 happened in the year 2007. 2007 was a significant year. Anyway, when we I think it was three months after the Lord had established the house of prayer. Whilst in prayer, the Lord said to me, "Lay prostrate, and begin to worship." And whilst I was worshiping, the Lord took me out of my body, and I found myself in a room. It mm -hmm. was like a, a closed room. There was a lot of people in this room and 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 the voice this voice said to me uh, go through this this west door because there was four doors go through this west door so i went as i came out i i started walking on a road there was this road but this road started turning into steps Steps, a yeah. stairway. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I, I can even I, I can see the stairway 
like very clearly yes. and i started walking up but as i started walking there was like an exhilaration yeah. inside of my spirit yeah. and then immediately I I, I I i i was beside myself and and i came to this big chest yeah. the only yeah. way i can explain it is i came to this big chest and i came in but i knew that this was Hello. inside the, the the chest of the father i was having the Hello. ball of my life mm -hmm. Hello? And then the voice said to me, "Go to the Ibra? go to the east side. I go to the east side, and 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 I'm told, no, you need to go to the garden. I'm like, no, 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 this is too nice here. I don't want to go on this side. But anyway, I'm led out of this, and I'm led to a garden. And 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 the voice says, this is the preparation of those that need to leave now. So I come to this place, and there's stones, there's stones, and I knew exactly that this these were prepared anyway." And, and and I was led to this particular stone that I had to stand on. But there was, what, what, what do we call this prayer shawl again? Uh, the talit. The talit, the, hmm? the, the prayer shawl. <clears throat> there was lots of people that were there and these shawls were being put. Shawls. Shawls. Oh, the prayer shawl. The talit, yeah. The talit yeah, was yeah, talit. put Excuse over off. them. Yes. And then, Hello? And, then and, and, the, and the Lord Jesus Hello? came and stood in front of all of these and said, this is the time I'm releasing all of you now to go back for the in assignment. Mm -hmm. And then I found myself back in the prayer room. Michelle, do you all remember that day? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Found myself back in the prayer room. And I said to myself, what, Hello? what just happened? Yeah, I see you. What just happened? And then after much prayer, I said, Lord, you, you, you need to show me, you need to speak to me exactly what, you, what, what you're doing. And he said to me, 2000 is a significant year. Write it down. 2007 is a significant year. Because I released connections in this day. Because there were so many people that were there standing on stones. And they had to be covered with the electric of humility. And he said, that day I released connections and you will continuously meet those connections. And I believe in that time, this connection was released there, <clears throat> that day. Amen. So when I'm sitting Amen. here, the Lord is saying, this, these connections were released <coughs> that Yeah, day. what happened here yeah. is massive. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it, we, know, we, we, we are in the unfolding. Part. We don't understand. Because I'm telling you, when, when that shift yeah. took place, yeah. and, I, and we came into agreement, yeah. and I saw the Lord yeah. receiving yeah. all of us into himself, yeah. It's like we went into another level. Yes. And this is why the ocean, did you see it says that shift, the ocean is silent. Open and silent. Somebody's at the gate. For days now, no. No. The atmosphere is quiet. Normally, normally there's winds and waves and what was. Yeah, it's silent. Like when, glass. The ocean is a supernatural. There's so much that shift. It's when, like open portal, open heaven. Yes. When we left, when we left the last prayer meeting, because the Lord had us praying, uh, fasting over a three three week period for for this encounter, and and the Lord said to us, "My sign will be rain." Mm -hmm. yes. When yes. the sign, He said, the sign that He will give us will be rain. Mm -hmm. rain. When oh. you got to the border, yes. what happened? Rain. And it hadn't rained from January. 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 Right. When we came out of the airport, what happened? It, it rained. rained. Yeah. Anyway, we bless the Lord and we, 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 we need to. Hmm? Uh, Iman, yes. uh, um, Anneli must just go to the gate. Somebody bring something to the gate for us. Uh, she, she yeah. is there to His name, yes. yeah. I didn't Kenneth. tell you, man, when, when I stood before the His Father and I'm the releases of you, he said to me, soon yeah. you'll be unshakable, unbreakable. Unchangeable, impenetrable, yeah. and incomprehensible. Yeah. Yeah. Because we, we've been set up for habitation yes. and divine encounter. Yeah. 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 Can we sing she, a little yes. song? Yeah, yes. The world will yes. miss us because they expect a king with a crown on it. And so done, so I am sold out, sold out. I am sold out, sold out. For you, for you. Sold out, sold out. I am sold out, sold out. I am sold out, sold out. For you, for you. I don't care what the world says. I've got no slow running through my veins. So loud, so loud for you. I don't care what the world says. I've got no slow running through my 
Thank you so much for receiving us. Thank you. 